Hey guys, it's Dr. Diego Soto. We're taking a little time off the comic book store to work on some other kicks, mainly feeding my Alcatraz obsession. Four books just weren't enough, so now I've done this audio tour thing. The plan is to share with you guys some of my favorite spots on the island. Here's a little information on present day tours. Don't underestimate the ferry ride. It's a surreal experience. Just about every person, from the wardens to the guards to the prisoners themselves, have taken this mile and a half boat ride to the 22 acre island. Of course, what Alcatraz is famous for is being the most ruthless and infamous prison in U.S. history. On January 1st, 1934, it was named a federal prison and for months they prepared the prison for the most dangerous criminals ever known. They lived alongside prison staff and their families for 29 years until 1963 when the facilities began to crumble, funds ran out, and the men were shipped out to other prisons. Zero in on the island and you'll catch a glimpse of the Alcatraz warning sign. That thing used to warn boaters coming too close not to pick up hydro hitchhikers. Most boats were smart and kept their distance. Nowadays, it's more of a welcome sign for tourists. When you first arrive on the island, instead of guards and panic, you're greeted by rangers since it's now operated by the National Park Service. When you first pass the ranger station and walk up the hill, peek down the side of the rock. That's the Alcatraz Prison Gardens. Pretty awesome. Initially, they were planted by military families who've lived there before 1934 and then later tended by families of the prison guards, even by some of the inmates themselves on good behavior. That's what I got, working on some more. Things seem pretty quiet around here. I'll definitely have audio tours coming your way. Thanks guys. Soto, out.